Well, hello there. Thank you for joining us here at Coolest Life. My name is Tony. I'm here to give you a review of how bright that sun is today. <laughs> That's about to kill me. <laughs> Raccoon River RV Park here in Panama City Beach, Florida. I'll take you around, some, show you some of the things I like and some of the things I don't like. And if you like videos like this, I've got a playlist inside of our channel called RV Reviews. So check out that RV Review. I think we've got about 40 or something like that. Come on and join us. You just entered the coolest life. RV Park Review Edition. So yeah, I'm on my bicycle again, doing another review. I want to, I think it's some, sometimes it's the best way to actually see the different uh, places of a park. Because you can see how the, uh, how it's being kept up. I do like the fact that we are on an asphalt road. Uh, a lot of the uh, spots look pretty good. Uh, there are a lot of trees here. It reminds me of uh, a state park that you might go to. However, the RVs are pretty close together, unlike most state parks. Most state parks, you got a little bit more uh, distance between the uh, sites. But here, not so much. Uh, I'll stop here shortly and show you exactly what uh, uh, one of the sites might look like that you might get if you're if you're here. The particular site that we're on is probably a lot like this one here I'm about to show you, which is you're going to park on gravel, but you're going to have a pad for your picnic table. Yeah, I got one right here. Good. So let me turn this thing around. So here's your pad and your hookups. Um, these hookups here are on a regular box. I will say this about this regular box. This is a regular hookup. The bad thing about it is there is no breaker. There's no breaker on mine. And this one here is, this looks like it's a 30 amp. Most of them, mine is a 50 amp. I think this might be the 30 amp side here. But one of the things I do like about this park is uh, there is cable. And it's free with your, with your park admission. So I do, I love that. Uh, the last park I was in didn't have cable, um, but this one here does. And also definitely some of the, some of the slabs are in need of repair. This one here is not a bad side. This is actually a corner spot. So you got a little bit more extra room with it. And of course your picnic table, you can move it wherever you want and water. Right here in the middle of the park, there is a playground for the kids. It's not half bad. And that particular one, playground is right next to one of the pools because they have two swimming pools. This one I believe is the larger of the two. It's shaped like a fidget spinner. <laughs> it's got three sides to it. And all this particular one is directly behind the main office which has uh, things you can buy as far as groceries. So they actually got a, like a regular little store inside of there. And they got an activities area. And this would be your laundry facility. Let's go ahead and take a look at the so laundry, it still has that little rustic look. And I think they want that. They want the, the whole Raccoon River rustic kind of look. Machines look like they're in good repair. They're not all rusted out or anything, but it is $3 per wash. Yikes. My guess back there, it says 25. They're probably 250 to dry. Those are some, those are some big dryers. Let me tell you, they're a good size. But that's, and that goes back out to an art, the rest of the park. And there are bathrooms and, uh, showers on the other side. In fact, I won't take you through one of the showers too, just so you can you can see it. So again, we're here with the rustic theme, the whole dirt and everything. And I have not walked through here just as of yet, but you can see everything's in really good condition. I like it. This one here is in a little better condition than the other restroom, which is uh, down the way. I'm just gonna randomly pick one of these shower stalls that we have here. Maybe, maybe a little dirty, but I think that would you would normally wear your uh, shower shoes anyway This one here does not have a curtain. I can see a water dripping out of there Which is telling me there's at least there's water to that one. You see this one here's got a curtain. This is in a little better condition But then you got the whole rustic cabin look to it And then there's the ones down here not a lot there's a little bit of graffiti every now and then but uh, most of it is uh, in pretty good condition and I like that about this park. 
it's not pristine by any means, but it, it, you can definitely tell they're making an attempt to take care of it. Another recreational area they have, they got one shuffleboard, well, two, I guess, technically, and a basketball, a couple of goals. A little play area for kids to climb. This is more of the park. This is actually down here where I'm, I'm at. There was the one loop that I just took you through. And then there's going to be one down here that's got uh, maybe five fingers going off of it. Then that's pretty much it. Except for some of the stuff to the right. And that is another bathhouse. About the same condition, just not quite as many stalls in it. And then people have dogs. Dumpsters are easy to get to. I'm about halfway between this one and the other one. This is dry camping over here, so I say dry camping. It's, I don't think there's any sewer over here. And here is the other pool. Yeah, it's in really good condition, my wife, my wife set out here. The pools are open late too, open till like 10. And it, they are not heated. And this is a road out the back. I'm gonna show you a quick little ride that you can go to the beach. So this is just barely outside the, the back of the park. This is walking distance, no question. You can see the palm trees. Uh, the big building here is to the right is a putt-putt golf course, also known as uh, Goofy Golf. So you can find that on your GPS. Uh, they do lock this back gate at certain hours. I don't know exactly when it opens. During In the middle of the day, it, it is unlocked. But uh, any other time, you can always ride your bicycle or walk right around it more to keep out traffic there's goofy golf there looks like fun maybe we'll do that today probably not I think we're gonna ride go-karts I'll probably put that in another video and golf cart rentals so that's convenient right outside and that over there is the beach hey check it out I'm gonna harass some pigeons Go pigeons, fly, fly, fly. There's just a few pigeons out here. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Well, we made it to the beach and I'm gonna, oh, by the way, I'm gonna show you some of their rates. We'll put some of the rates up right here so you can see what the rates are here. Currently at Rexon River. Of course, rates can always change. They do change by season, but uh, so you get something accurate. Um, so that was the parking lot we saw from just a few minutes ago. And this is the beach here. Like I said, it is a full-fledged Panama City Beach beach. Uh, this is the, the pier, not the Pier Park Pier, but this is the one south of it. I don't know what it's called. South of it? No, technically it's uh, east of it. So we're more in the older style Panama City Beach. Uh, uh, there's lots of different things out here. Alvin's Island and everything else so there's lots of it's a great place for a bike ride and shopping at the same time I know that's why I did just a few days ago it's a really good location for a park and yet it's still in the middle of the trees so you don't get uh, so much of the uh, traffic noise and those those kind of things and but uh, I actually really like this park um, surprisingly enough I didn't see a hot tub that was working I think their hot tub was either broken down or I don't remember they do have several cats around there just kind of wander the park. They don't tend to mess with any of the dogs uh, that I've noticed. Other people in here had dogs. But uh, it is a nice place to, uh, to kick back. Uh, prices can be a little pricey if, if it's in season. But uh, will I be back? Uh, yeah, if I'm in this area, this is such a great location. You don't have to get in your car to drive and go get something. If you want to go to the store, Dollar General is almost directly across the store from the front gate. So you could actually walk everywhere. Um, you wouldn't have to even get a golf cart or anything. You could ride your bike or walk. But uh, I think next time we come here, maybe maybe we'll have a golf cart. We'll see. But that's going to do it. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and check out, as I mentioned, that playlist of uh, park reviews. And, um, and we'll see you in the next video. You just you are now leaving the coolest life.